Yo, yo, yo. This is Peanut, digital baby mom. Like, comment, and subscribe so you can pay for this motherfucking child support. Y'all know he broke his hand, so y'all know we need all that motherfucking money. Yeah. And don't forget, my name is Peanut. Show me some work, too. Mmm. I hate when the rapper is, like, being a bigger person, and they're, like, dodging the haters and the hate and all the clout chasing. Then out of nowhere, they decide to just jump in and just diss somebody. Like, it's like, damn, bro. Like, is everything all right at home? Like, is your label dropping you? Like, do you need money now? Like, why all of a sudden are you being a clout chaser? Like, I thought you was bigger than this. Like, it's one thing if they come out off top as a clout chaser or come out off top, uh, off top dissing, I can understand it. But if you come out later, it's like, bro, what changed in your life? Did you get in an argument with your girl or something like that? Now, A Boogie comes out on his on the radar freestyle and says, I don't know who shot you, but you think I know because you know how my block do. Which is a fire bar. I ain't gonna hold you. Now, I think he was performing one of the songs off his newest album, Better Off Alone. Not sure what song, though, but just a little side note, though. That album was fire, dog. That album, A Boogie, Better Off Alone was fire. I'm jacking the joint with uh, Young Thug. I'm jacking the Cash Cobain song. I'm jacking the song with Future. I'm jacking Steppers. I'm jacking they shooting. It was a good album, like some R&B type stuff. But he, you know, he got on a little bit of rap. You know, it's rap wave. I know how A Boogie do. Some of the songs sound inspired by Drake a little bit, but you know. But all in all, it was a good album. Now everybody thinking on that snippet on on the radar freestyle on on the radar performance that he was dissing TJ, um, because TJ allegedly got shot by A Boogie's homeboy last summer outside of a hotel in jersey and i'm gonna say this he was definitely dissing that nigga like <laughs> it's a slight sim subliminal nut and major um but he was definitely dissing that nigga and i will say this also it's not really needed dog because Lil tj got shot like last summer or the summer before that like it's not needed a boogie like bro just focus on making the good music the dissing does help it gets attention and it is important for some people but for somebody like you you don't gotta do it for somebody like Lil tj you don't gotta do it for somebody like D thing, he don't gotta do it, but he kinda gotta do it a little bit. Certain rappers they have to do it, and certain rappers are so talented to where, bro, you could just go make a hit record to make females dance and you could go up that way, bro. Niggas like Skepta and Burner Boy and Tim's and and people like that don't have to make diss songs. Taylor Swift don't gotta make no diss songs. The weekend don't gotta diss nobody. Drake do, Drake does it, but Drake don't gotta diss nobody. Michael Jackson never had to, the, 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 the biggest artist never had to diss anybody. So if y'all want to get on that level or be that kind of artist, you don't got to diss nobody. Just put out some good music. I bet Lil TJ been, you know, minding his own business, doing his own thing. Now, when I see these dudes diss each other, because if A Boogie is, he's technically responding. I will say this. How come Lil TJ could work with Chicago dudes like Polo G? Or A Boogie could work with an Atlanta dude like Thug? But TJ and A Boogie can't work together. They don't got no songs together. Or Cardi can't work with either one of them. It's way too many politics when it comes to rappers from the same region and the beef and all that stuff. And it's kind of sad, dog. Any nigga in any hood in America would literally catch a body to be in their place. To be an A-Boogie. To be living a boogies Like to be living low TJ life. Don't ever get it messed up. It's not always about money and fame. You feel me? Like, it's regular people who love their life and everything like that. But the one thing that somebody like A-Boogie or TJ could do, um, they could buy their mama house. And that's what every nigga wants to do. Some niggas is working towards it, but when you're an entertainer, you're at a different level where you could buy your mom two houses if you want. And you and you making a living doing something that you love, rhyming words together, partying, having fun, putting on fly clothes. That's anybody would love that. Some people so broke they can't even get a box of pizza today. A boogie can order ten boxes of pizza every day for the next ten years, and probably not even notice that, that the money is even missing. You feel me? But yeah, A Boogie, Lil TJ, the beef is 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 watch, bro. It's done. Like, what's the point of it? Y'all niggas is making money, making a lot of money, living life, being artists. Go make the best songs. That's it, dog. Digital thugs. I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.